Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sherry. Um, I am um, an aspiring teacher, basically. Um, I am in the process of getting into a um, teacher certification program um, and taking my content exam and all that stuff. Um, after my first video that I did, I wanted to, you know, my second video to be an update, like after I took my content exam and, you know, just to let you know how that went, but, um, there were some issues. So first off, I will start with, um, the teacher program. So, um, I was planning to go into the teacher program through the college that I got my associate's degree from, um, However, some things came up and that is no longer a, um, not, not really a good financial option for my family right now. Um, so, um, basically they wanted like $4,000 up front, which I knew, um, but some things came up, um, and that's just not, that's not really doable anymore. So, um, I know I wanted to do this video and take you through um, what it would be like to go through a college versus um, the other teacher YouTuber that I referenced in my first video, Ladeja, at That Houston Teacher. Um, she went through um, Texas Teachers of Tomorrow. Excuse me. Um, she went through Texas Teachers of Tomorrow. And which is like a fully online, um, you know, you still do your student teaching and observations and all that in person. Um, you still have to do coursework. It's all online. It's totally at your own pace. You're not restricted to the semester thing like I would have been um, if I went to that other program. So, you know, I, I get more leeway on this one. You know, I can kind of just speed through it or I can take my time, you know, take however long I need to, or I want to, you know, whatever stuff like that. So, um, you do pay, um, a smaller fee up front. It's like 250 or 450, something like that. It's not the astronomical $4,000 of the other program. So, um, that is more doable. And then once you, um, you know, that gets you access to all of your courses and, um, stuff like that. Um, your, beginning license, your um, probationary license that you will use for your um, internship. Um, you know, of course, you have to get admitted into the program first, get all your transcripts submitted, um, and then they will decide, apparently, if you even need to take a content exam. Um, so I learned this from the voicemail yesterday. Um, I was trying to play phone tag with, not trying to play phone tag, but I got caught in a game of phone tag with them because they don't answer their phones anymore. Um, you call and leave a message and then they have somebody return your call while I was at work. And so they called and I was not able to answer my phone because I was at work. So I had to call, leave another message for them after they left a message for me. Um, and the girl basically said, you know, I was asking about the exam because I had not, I had not yet found out about this test um, that I have to take. So there were some issues with that. I'll go over that in just a second. Um, um, so she was like, well, we haven't received your, um, your official transcript from your university. I've had issues with my transcript, obtaining my transcript from my university. It goes through a third party company. I've ordered it four times, three for myself. Whenever I was going to go to the college for my, um, teacher certification. I was just going to have it delivered here and then I was going to submit everything at one time. You can do that. Like you can literally drive to their office, hand them the packet and the application. Here's all my stuff. Have a good day. So this one, though they are, they do have an actual office that I could go to. I ordered my transcript online. You know, the three that I ordered for this other program and never arrived. So now I've spent 40 bucks on these transcripts and have none. They were returned to sender. Three of them that were supposed to come here were returned to sender for insufficient address, which is stupid because I have stuff delivered here all the time. Um, and then the fourth one, which was supposed to go straight to Texas teachers, didn't arrive, or I'm hoping that it did and it's just listed under my maiden name, 
that was the issue with my uh, my other transcript that I had to send to them. It was it had my maiden name on it. You know, even though my social is the same, they didn't catch the social part. They just saw the name being different. You know, and I had to call and clarify that. Fast forward. Um, so far, that's been my only issue with Texas Teachers. I was not planning to go through Texas Teachers. I wanted to take you on the journey of going through um, a college teacher program, you know, to show you how that goes, um, to kind of contrast um, other videos that are on YouTube, you know, going through specifically um, that Houston teacher. She's the only one really that's posted videos like that of, you know, her process of going through a program. Um, most of the other teacher YouTubers are in their first year of teaching, basically, and they're just, you know, to show you life as a teacher but you know to be helpful like I decided that I wanted to start a video from the very beginning you know and uh, that's when I found Ladeja and she basically was doing the same exact thing so she was looking for videos of teachers you know to, to show what they went through at the very beginning and there were none so that's why she decided to make her channel so I was like, okay, well, that's a good idea. I will go ahead and make my channel, which I had already planned to do, um, but I wanted to show going through a college and show, you know, how that works versus going through Texas Teachers like she did. But now that's not the case. So now I am also going through Texas Teachers. So um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you that journey. Um, but things happen, life happens. So you just got to kind of roll with the punches and just, you know, whatever. So anyways, I'm going through Texas Teachers. Um, so far, my only issue with them is having to play phone tag constantly. You um, don't really get to talk to a person. I mean, you do talk to a person, but obviously they just take a message. And then they call you back. So um, that's my only issue with them so far um, is the phone tag. Um, but anyways, so I showed you this book in my first video. It's right here, the um, Texas Core Subjects EC, EC through 6. Um, it's about 300 and something pages. This part right here is, you know, where the practice tests are in the back. So I read the whole thing front to back. Um, did some of the practice tests online. I finished this book yesterday morning um, before I went to work. So I was like, sweet, I will go on there and I will go ahead and schedule my exam. I'll set that for like three weeks from now, you know, that way I'll have some time to go online, do some practice tests. Um, and so I went to schedule my exam as of, um, January 27th of 2020, the Texas law has changed. You no longer take that exam. It does not exist. It's done, and I just wasted months reading this book. So, you know, I'm working full-time, basically. Um, I have two kids. We recently got a dog. I'm married. I have a life. Um, so I cannot really, don't have the time to sit down and read a giant book like this cover to cover. So, yeah, it took me some months. Um, but had I known the law was about to change, um, I probably would have pushed myself a little harder. I mean, I got my bachelor's degree under the same circumstances, so I could have done it, but whatever. I didn't. So anyways, now I am having to take a completely different exam, um, called the PACT, the Texas PACT exam. Um, it goes through um, completely different subjects, different grades. Um, a lot of the grades are uh, kindergarten through 12, um, 8 through 12, 4 through 12, 6 through 12, 4 through 8, 7 through 12. I might have already said that. Um, and then they have actual subjects. So you're not doing core classes. You're doing certain subjects. So there's only one, um, there's only one core subject exam listed and that's core subjects four through eight, but that's not the grade that I want to teach. I want to do, um, first, second, third grade, something like that. So I went on there and I printed out this list of the exams and I will show that to you. Um, so it's this right here. 
these are the exams that you are now required to take. But the, um, the message that the girl from Texas Teachers left me yesterday said that they did not receive my transcript, so they don't know if I have to take the content exam or not. So um, that's a plus. I guess if you have a high enough GPA in college, you don't need to take a content exam. So there's that bit of information. Um, but I will definitely have to because their GPA requirement is a 2.5 and I have a 2.5. So I'm pretty sure that's going to mean that I have to take the exam, which is fine. I'm totally preparing myself for that. I was already preparing myself for that. So, uh, excuse me. Um, it was a little confusing. I had to go to the TEA website. Um, and the Pearson View website, which is where you are going to go to schedule your test. Um, ran into some, com some confusion there on those websites, had to go back and forth a little bit. Um, so you have to um, sign up for a TEA membership first, um, and then you have to have your um, ID from the TEA um, to put on the Pearson View website to sign up for your exam. The only thing with that is you have to um, Sorry, there's a hair. You have to um, apply for the exam on the TEA website. Um, you have to start an application on there um, and then submit that and it's like immediately accepted. Um, they send you the email with your um, TEA membership and then you go to your person view page and you sign up for the class. And that's when I realized the Texas exam no longer exists because I signed up for the Texas exam on the TEA website got over to the Pearson View website and they were like, okay, so even though I selected the um, EC36 Pier um, Texas exam, it took me to the next page and was like, okay, so which packed exam do you want to take? And I was like, no, not packed, Texas. Like I need to take the Texas exam. So I thought maybe I clicked the wrong thing. So I went back to the beginning, reselected the Texas EC36 exam hit next and it took me back to the packed exam so I was like what's going on here did some looking around and that's when I found out the law changed as of January 27th of this year it is March 6th um, of 2020 um, so basically a little over a month ago the law changed the law went into effect and that is not the test that I'm taking. So now apparently I have to take the PACT exam. So basically what that means is I have to figure out either a new grade and subject to teach or I had to figure out which of these exams was going to apply to what all I just studied and the grade that I want to teach because I still want to do first, second, or third. But third grade is when they start star testing and I'm not entirely sure I want to be a part of that so maybe first or second um anyway so I did some googling and some research and I found out that this one right here this pink one this um essential essential academic skills uh reading writing and math mind you um kind of encompasses the EC through six. So um, that will be the exam that I will have to take um, in order to continue doing my EC through six. But um, I have put a call into Texas teachers for some clarification on that because it's reading, writing, and math. So I don't know if they change the law to go into effect in the fall with the new school year you know, if, if the, the way that they teach is going to change, um, cause I'm expecting going through, you know, first grade, second grade that you're teaching all of the subjects, but the test is reading, writing and math. So I was a little confused with that. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of waiting on clarification on that. Um, I did call them playing phone tag again with Texas teachers. So I'm waiting for them to call me to kind of give me some clarification. I mean, I, I guess that, you know, if it covers the EC through six, that's just what I'm going to have to take. Otherwise, you know, I, I considered doing um, science. So, I mean, science four through eight is an option um, on this exam. 
I don't want to do math and I'm not a music person. I'm not an art person. Um, I also considered social studies four through eight. I'm not great with history. So I'm like, I don't know. I guess I need to figure this out. Um, so on Saturday, uh, my husband and I are going to go to Barnes and Noble and see if we can find, hopefully they will call me back before then, but see if we can find a book. And I hope it's not as big as this one because <laughs> this took me a long time. Um, to go through so um, but I guess now I know if I take forever they're gonna change the law and I'm gonna have to get another book so I guess I'll have to get my butt in gear um, so anyways I'll have to go find a new book to study um, hopefully for this essential academic skills reading writing and math um, <clears throat> excuse me I, I don't know what to think about this <laughs> like I was really stressed out yesterday. Um, I attempted to do a video. Mostly it was just me ranting about how mad I was about this this realization. It's not even a realization. This new fact that I learned yesterday morning. You know, I finished my book yesterday morning. And I was like, yes, like I'm doing great. I'm, I'm going to go on there and, and schedule my exam. And I'll be ready to go. I'll put it for like three weeks out. Give myself some time to do some more um, practice, practice exams and you know, more online practice, whatever. And then this bomb was dropped on me. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you're planning to go into a um, alternative teacher certification program to become a teacher, this year you will be taking the PACT exam, not the Texas exam. And I'm, I'm hoping that they pulled all these books from the shelf because now they are irrelevant. Um, I, don't, I don't really know any instance that you would even use these. So um, it did show on there that on the TEA website um, in the state of Texas, the Texas Education Agency's website, um, all I forget what it's called, EPP, something like that. Um, the um, Alternative Teacher Certification Programs, the approved programs, um, have to use this exam. So really there's no need for this Texas book to exist. So I get to go find a new book. I hope it's not huge. I hope it's like an inch thick. <laughs> Um, it also said on the Pearson website that these two tests are nothing alike. They don't have the same information. They're like completely, completely different. Yay. Um, yeah, so I was super stressed out yesterday. I tried to make a video. It was not great. I've already made like four videos this morning, deleted them, tried to remake, remake more, um, they're all about the same. I'm sorry. I'm new to this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this has been the longest one so far yet, even though it has been more organized than the previous ones that I have done. It's about 18 and a half minutes so far. <laughs> the other ones were about 15 and they were all over the place. I'm like super scatterbrained. Um, but anyways, um, I hope this information has been helpful to the, um, aspiring teachers who are wanting to join a, um, join, wanting to go into an alternative teacher certification program this year, um, do not buy a Texas book. This is outdated, no longer being used by law. You are now using the Texas PACT exams. This list, I'll show you again. This, let me back up a little bit. These are the ones that you are going to be choosing from. You can pause it, have a look at those. Buy a book for that um, at Barnes & Noble Online. They do have books for this and it says new and improved, well, not new and improved, but brand, brand new for 2020, the packed exam. Yeah. Nobody told me this. They need to have, like, a big announcement or something. Anyways, no. We get to find out for ourselves. Um, anyways, I'm just being dumb. Um, 
I hope this information is helpful. I know I'm just dry and absolutely boring. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I still don't know how to edit videos, so it's probably going to be over 20 minutes. I just hit the 20 minute mark. Um, I'm so sorry um, that I'm rambling and I'm just unorganized and scatterbrained and goofy. Um, but yeah, so you're going to be taking the packed exam. Um, I, I hope that I'm going to get to show you a different side of Texas teachers, hopefully positive. Um, the phone tag so far is annoying, but I'm hoping that is my only negative experience with them. Um, go check up, check up, check out um, that Houston teacher. Her name is Ladeja. She is um, a teacher in Houston um, and she went through Texas Teachers as well so if you want to go over and check out her experience through them um, she's really cool I really like her um, go check her out um, there's also a lot of other great teacher youtubers online um, that show you like what to expect in your first year of teaching I follow a whole bunch of them they're really cool um, yeah so just go check people out have a look around um, I hope that you do subscribe and I hope that you uh, want to follow follow along on my journey on this. Um, if you do, click that subscribe button over here somewhere um, and please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry it's, I'm rambling and I'm just the worst at making videos. I'm so sorry. Um, at least my kid didn't bust in the room this time like she did earlier. <laughs> my dog's not whining. Um, Anyways, um, please follow me along on this journey. Like, I really want to help some of y'all out, um, you know, and kind of, at least if you watch my videos and something terrible happens, then you can see why not to choose Texas teachers, you know, and just choose a different program, you know, like, I want to help people out, like, show you what to expect, um, stuff like that. So I was hoping to show you what to expect on a different teacher program, but I'm sorry that's not gonna happen because I don't have $4,000 to throw out right now. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained. Um, I will see y'all next time and my accent just came out. I will see y'all next time. Um, I will show you the book that I get whenever I decide what book it is that I'm going to get. Hopefully, Texas Teachers calls me back and I can let you know how that conversation goes. Um, and I will show you my book whenever I get it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.